Well, today sucked, guys. Today sucked. It was not a good day for me in DFS or on prize picks. Um, just one of those days where it kind of caught every bad break. Like I had Westbrook, one example, I had Westbrook under 15 and a half points. It hit, but the game went to overtime, so he, he went, ended up going over. Um, just, just not a good day. Missed both the YouTube picks. Super, super frustrating. Um, Paul George did everything but score. Io had like six quick points in the first quarter. Uh, just really, really frustrating, tilting night. Um, I somehow didn't lose that much at prize picks. I'm, I'm only down fifty dollars. Uh, all the tacos hit, and then one of the few plays I, I did hit, Troy Brown rebounds, had a lot paired with uh, the tacos. So that was, I guess, the one positive. But um, yeah, overall, just a uh, bad day in DFS and bad day on prize picks. Hoping we can bounce back um, because I am tilted and uh, would like a nice bounce back. So uh, we're making this video right now a little bit before midnight. So once again, not the full board, but there's a couple of plays I want to mention, and one is somewhat dependent on news. So let's get into it. Uh, really quick, though, if you are a first-time user, make sure to use the code DKDFS. That'll give you 100% match up to $100. I'll have a link down below as well. So new user, take advantage of that free money. And all right, let's get into the first pick. So this one is somewhat dependent on news. We're going to go to PRA, and we're going to look at Porzingis Porzingis 32.5. Now, the reason I say it's somewhat dependent on news is because Daniel Gafford is questionable. And he didn't play last game. And last game, with, or with Gafford off the court, it really boosts the rebounding numbers for Kristaps Porzingis, who was super involved offensively. And he only played 30 minutes, but don't be worried about the minutes. He was not on a limit. He basically played 18 first half minutes. So he was on pace for 36 plus, or like around 36 minutes. And he got in massive foul trouble in the early in the second half. So he lost a good chunk of minutes there and ended up following out. So... Um, I like taking more than 32 and a half PRA for Porzingis in a good matchup if Daniel Gafford is out because it really just boosts his floor, in my opinion. He'll probably get close to double digit rebounds. Right now, his rebounding prop is set at nine and a half. So I like more than 32 and a half for, for Porzingis PRA if Daniel Gafford is out. For what it's worth, we don't know the Gafford news right now, and the odds are still slightly in our favor. If you look at player combos, where is it? Here. And you take a look at Porzingis. He is currently minus 120. So like a slight, uh, slight edge to the over. But I'm probably going to wait until we get the Gafford confirmation. If Gafford's out, I really like it. If Gafford's in, this, eh, I might not end up taking it. So that's my plan uh, for Porzingis. And then the second one, we're going to go over to rebounds. We're going to take a look at Josh Hart at 7.5. Now, you might think that's kind of a lot for a guard slash wing for Josh Hart. But he's a really good rebounder. Averaging almost eight and a half rebounds a game. And if we take a look at DraftKings Sportsbook, you can take, uh, where are the Blazers? Hold on. Um, let's go to rebounds. And Josh Hart is minus 130 to go over seven and a half rebounds. Another thing I want to mention too is the minutes have just not really been there for Nurkic. They're, they've been really just limited. Like if you take a look at Yusuf Nurkic's last like four or five games, he's only averaging like mid 20s minutes. Now, why is that important? Well, Nurkic is a great rebounder. Nurkic average, averages almost 10 rebounds a game, and they're just not giving him huge minutes right now. They're playing Drew Eubanks, who's not as good of a rebounder. So if they're going to continue to somewhat limit Nurkic's minutes, that actually helps Josh Hart uh, you know, for more rebounds. So we're going to take more than 7.5 rebounds for Josh Hart. Again, slight juice is on the over. Um, if you don't want to take that one, you could always go to Anthony Simons under 2.5. He averages, I think, a little over two rebounds a game and uh, mainly just out there to shoot. He's, he's not a great rebounder for a guard. And again, the odds are in the uh, favor of the under. So if you don't want to take seven and a half for Josh Hart, you could always take um, less than two and a half for Anthony Simons. So those are, are going to be the picks for today, guys. Hoping to bounce back after just a super frustrating night tonight. Um, but I really do appreciate all, all the support and all the new viewers. I can't thank you guys enough, really. Um, and uh, let me know who let you down tonight. And uh, again, hopefully we have a, a nice bounce back for these uh, picks. And uh, thanks again. See you all in the next video.